Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to quickly do a flip through of my pages. And you can see here the cover is different from my previous video or my previous Hobonichi video. And I was finally able to get my hands on this cute donkey cover. I think it's from 2014. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. I believe I last did a flip through of January. I don't know if I did February, but uh, here we go. So with the February Hobonichi challenge, I printed the challenge out and I decided to use stickers. Um, and I tried my best to see, and I looked through my stickers stash to see if I could uh, get every single one of them. I, obviously I couldn't, um, but I thought it was kind of fun to do that. And this was the Hobonichi spring release day. I really didn't end up getting anything. Um, I, you'll, I think I'm just going to flip through whatever I have because I do have a lot of blank pages. Hopefully this video won't get too long. On the 4th, we found this soup curry place and it's really good. Lots and lots of delicious vegetables. Um, and we actually did takeout, which is, which is really nice. Uh, the 5th, we started packing the boxes. On the 6th, I purchased a uh, traveler's notebook from Sojourner and it was from the buy sell trade group and it's I, I really really like this traveler's notebook um, I've shown you this specific one in my junk journal video so if you want to take a look at that I will leave the links down below this day I believe I had an afternoon off to myself my mother-in-law came and just kind of babysat my daughter I think that's what this was about. And I think these are some of the prompts for uh, March or February. I'm not too sure. I guess the, um, the the ones that I couldn't find the stickers, I think I tried to draw them out. So this was part of the Hobonichi challenge and a good pen. And here I tried to draw the Twisby that I received as a gift from Filofax Finds. I'm addicted to the popcorn from Costco. I think I talked about this. I feel like I talked about this uh, in my previous Hobonichi with me videos. Um, this is also part of the Hobonichi challenge. Flowers blooming. A kiss. I decided to draw Hershey kisses instead. And oh my gosh, these ones are so good. The ones that uh, I guess they come out during the holiday season. I received this one from Momo, like a bag of Hershey Kiss from Momo, and it's so good. Really, really like it. And yeah, I think I, I did this one, um, like a Hoboni Checho with me. I didn't really write here, but that's okay. I'm not sure if I talked about this one. Uh, I uh, Lately, <laughs> lately I have been Actually, I probably did talk about it, so I'm going to skip over that because I don't want this video to get too long. But yeah, I've been, um, like these blank pages, I will most likely, like here I wrote car wash. So I will, I'll either draw it or I'm just going to leave it blank and just move on. Or I might just do quotes like this. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. And then the best view comes after the hardest climb. Just more quotes. Um, swatches of some watercolor that I purchased. I purchased this last year, I think it was October, and I finally decided to open it up and <laughs> swatch the colors. Here I printed the March Hobonichi Challenge out and I haven't stuck, maybe I'll just do that right now actually before I forget. And it's already April so I'm like so behind, but that's okay. I don't want my, I don't want to give myself like, I don't want to beat myself up for it. It's supposed to be fun. So as you can see, if you can't draw, you can do something like what I did in my, in February and use stickers instead, right? Or you can uh, just write out the word bed and practice your writing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I kind of started with this, but uh, maybe I'll try and finish a couple more here. But I have a lot of blank pages in February. I don't know, this year I've been really struggling with my health and my family's health. This weekend was the meetup weekend and so I have to write about that. I stuck the photos in there but I need to write about that. <laughs> this is funny. Where did I see this? I think I saw this on Facebook somewhere. It says, finally my winter fat is gone. Now I have spring rolls. 
<laughs> so funny. Anyways, um, you get in life what you have the courage to ask for. That is so true. That's why Oprah went for me. And this day was really nice. Uh, we went to Odaiba, which is in Tokyo, and uh, we went to see some of my friends. And we didn't know there was like some kind of festival um, going on at the same time. And all the trees were lit up red. It was really pretty at night. They had these lanterns on the f on the ground by the beach. It was really really nice. And this bridge is called Rainbow Bridge. Uh, park fun with the neighbors. I have a picture of them here. So I'm just covering that up. <laughs> My husband took out his wisdom tooth. Uh, this is an old photo. You know how sometimes Facebook reminds you, like two years ago this happened? Or <laughs> Anyways, this photo popped up and I just uh, decided to print that off. My son took this photo of me and <laughs> carrying his bag with my daughter. It actually snowed this day, which was really nice. I love snow. Uh, this is inspired by James Burke. He did uh, like um. He did a swatch, I don't know what it's called, like a swatch tutorial. And then he drew houses on top of the swatches. So it's kind of like a fun way to showcase the watercolor paints that you have, um, but in a fun way. I tried to do more like Japanese style buildings on this side. I'm not sure if that really, really worked out. But anyways, I thought it was really, really fun and easy to do. This day, finally, no accidents. I mean, he still has them once in a while, but he's pretty good now. So um, I just kind of decided to do that. And I tried something new with the watercolor lettering. Um, with my outlining, I kind of left like an open white space. I, I don't know, just trying something new. Here, I just added a wash of water watercolor. I might do something later on. I started watching Homeland. They have fox... Uh, certain shows from Fox they have here in Japan and they have Homeland here so I was really really excited uh, so I wrote that there Handmaid's Tale they also have on Hulu in Japan which I'm really into right now and I love the fact that I see parts of Toronto like I had no idea this was this uh, show was shot in Toronto but they like I've noticed certain things like um certain scenery and things uh like it, I've, I've recognized like the subway and there's like a scene uh where there's somebody on the bridge and i knew right away that's like old mill i don't know it was just really really cool to see um parts of toronto in the show uh this thing i don't know what it's called i forgot what it's called in japanese it's like a protective covering for your head for like earthquakes or yeah, I guess for earthquakes. And it's a, it's kind of like a cushion as well, but we needed to get one for my son's daycare. They require uh, everyone to have one. Um, so I drew that there. Um, some muffins, not very good at it. And then I drew this uh, bag that I had to make for him um, with like, I don't know what it's called, like a book bag, I guess. And it has like these trains I picked out a uh, fabric that had these trains on them and he chose the red handles. So I drew that there. This is the new cover here. And this is a meetup that I had at Shimokitazawa with several of the lovely planner friends. So I took a, um, I posted some photos there and maybe I'll write about it on this side because it's not, um, not a lot of space over here. And I started with the challenge. I still need to print it out, but yeah, I only got day one cherry blossom, and maybe I'll do some more a little bit later on, but stuck between I need to save money and you only live once. That is so true. <laughs> I really, really like this quote. It's, uh, it's not our job to toughen our children up to face a cruel and heartless world. It's our job to raise children who will make the world a little less cruel and heartless. That is so true. I totally believe in that. I know a lot of people say, um, why well, have kids? You know, this world is such a horrible place, but it's now, like, they're our future, really. Like, if without them, there's no future for us. But anyways, that's like a whole, <laughs> I don't want to ramble on. And um, I purchased uh, a dot, like a watercolor dot card uh, from Peppercon Arts and it was like the neon set and oh my gosh I don't know if you can see how it gets probably not showing up on camera but it really is neon I am 
this is the first watch that I did. I was like, wow, it's so neon. And the cool thing about this watercolor is that it's not um, like chalky at all. Like it's, I don't know if you can hear that. It's not chalky at all, but it's so neat. Like it's so vibrant and like neon. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave her link down below. Oh yes, so this whole week I was feeling horrible and that's probably why, well that, that is why I have all these blank pages. I, I probably had like food poisoning or gastro or something. It's just, this year has been really, really bad for myself and my family. We've just been sick all around, all year round so far. Um, it's probably my son brings back, brings back bugs from daycare and it just kind of goes around our family, unfortunately. But anyways, I'm starting to feel better. Uh, the Leather Quill Shop uh, Traveler's Notebook arrived on this day. I have a video of it if you're interested. I'm in love with it. Um, and today is this, the 16th. I haven't done anything. I just wanted to quickly film this video. I took my passport photo yesterday. I need to get my passport renewed. Um, but yeah, I thought I would quickly do a flip through of my pages. I really like January so much you can see and uh, yeah I just need to catch up or not really catch up but maybe just fill in some blank pages here and there maybe I'll try and fill out um, I'll draw some of the uh, what's it called the Hobonichi challenge prompts in some of these blank pages maybe I'll just leave them blank and I'll get back to it when I feel like it but that's it <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this Hobonichi Techo flip through. If you have one and would like to share, please leave a comment down below. If you enjoy these types of videos, leave let me know. Um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like the pages are so boring, but um, yeah, let me know. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.